Hi, welcome to my bar. It's Cinco de Mayo, and so I'm going to be reviewing these eight Mexican beers. Okay, so the first one is going to be Corona. I gotta say a beer I didn't review today is Victoria, but I had it at the Mexican restaurant and it had a much better flavor than this. This is a, this is not a Corona light, but it kind of tastes like it's a light beer. I'll rank these at the end. Right now that one's, that one's pretty light. The next one, Tecate Titanium. 7.5% alcohol. Oh, that sounds so good pouring in the glass. Hmm, that has a interesting Not sure what the aftertaste is, but it's it's interesting. It's flavor. That one's definitely better than the Corona. Okay, so I see I've got three Modelos here. So I'm going to do these all together at the end. And I've got two Dos Equis. So those will be together. I'll try this one now. This is Australia Jalisco. That one smells kind of lemony. Doesn't really taste lemony though. Hmm. Guadalajara, Mexico. Doesn't say anything about lemons. It just smells like it. Doesn't taste like it. Hmm. It's gonna go after the Corona. That's very light. Okay, so for the Dos Equis, I'm gonna do these both at the same time. When I go to the Mexican restaurant, I usually order the Ambar. which is darker. I'm gonna try this one here. I love the color, how dark and brown it is. I swear it has more flavor in the restaurant. Hmm. Unusual. Hmm, it's hard to decide here. These kind of taste the same. <clears throat> They're both good. I just, I'm not a big fan of green bottle beers. To me, they always kind of have a skunky flavor. But this one doesn't doesn't taste bad. But they're they're a tie as far as flavor goes. Okay, so I'm gonna put these.
these over here. Put them together. That was a virtual tie. Uh, these three modelos, I'm going to try the Negra first, since these are flavored. One has lime and salt, and this is a chilada, so it's got uh, tomatoes and something else in it. I love the shape of this bottle. This is just different, and it feels feels nice to hold. And this is my first time ever seeing this in a glass. Every time I've drank it, it's been out of the bottle. So I never knew exactly how how dark it was. And it's got that very nice color. Yeah, that's that's got a nice full flavor. That's probably why I buy this all the time. I might have to start pouring it in the glass now because it's very nice to look at. Yeah, that's good. I might have to keep some here. Just in case. All right, now these two I've never tried these chaladas. So, this one is lemon and salt. Ooh, that's a very strong lemon. Very strong lemon smell. Mmm. That's a very strong lemon flavor. That's like a... It's like lemonade that doesn't have enough sugar in it. Wow, that's... <clears throat> that is sour. I can see drinking like one of these. But, hmm. Oh, wow, that is. Uh, if you like sour things, that's that would be great right there. This one is just a chalada especial with tomatoes, tomato salt, and lemon. Now I've had I have had beers with tomato juice in them before. I guess they call them a red beer. And those are actually delicious. And that's the one I'm making a mess with. Hmm. It's an interesting color. Oh, now this one I get nothing but tomatoes. You smell nothing but tomatoes. Hmm. Oh, that's a, the, the main flavor is tomatoes. It's, it's like drinking tomato juice. But it has a very pleasant aftertaste. It's got salt and lemon, but it's actually got a sweet aftertaste. Hmm. Ah. Uh, The, those flavored those those types of flavors aren't really I don't know how to compare them to these because none of those have the added flavors these are like an acquired taste like dark beer if you're a light beer drinker any of these would taste good to you even the uh, the Dos Equis Ambar which is dark and the Modelo Negra which is dark light beer drinkers would like those. These, uh, maybe if you like a Bloody Mary, you'd like this. It's like a Bloody Mary without the celery sticking out of it. But I can't stop drinking it, so it must be good. 
Okay, so I'm not going to put these beers in the same class with these. As far as these go, this is the order of my, my preference. The Modelo Negro is number one, followed by the Tecate. These two are tied for three. And then the Corona and the Estrella Jalisco. These are both very light. They don't say light beer on them, but these two taste like light beers. This tastes like regular beer, and these taste like flavorful beers. These two over here, uh, I would take the tomato one over the lemon and salt one, only because this does taste like a Bloody Mary, which is it's nice. Uh, but this is like lemonade that needs some sugar put in it. It's, it's very sour. Um, uh, being Cinco de Mayo, uh, my belly's full. I gotta figure out a way to drink all of these so they don't go to waste. But I um, hope you like the channel. And if you would, uh, like and subscribe it. And hopefully I'll be uploading a video every Friday. Uh, this one's coming out a little early just because it's Cinco de Mayo. But until next time.